really is a twist at every turn. My name is Sophia Arkenstall and today, take a look around. We are in Federation Square in the beautiful city of Melbourne. Why? Well, because it's incredibly vibrant, it's playful, it's sporting, and it's creative. But more than that, Melbourne is a smart city. And rewind, in July last year, I entered the Springfield City Group's inaugural Champions Competition. And I'm happy to announce that I won that competition. And as a result, I'm here. So I'll be taking a look at why Melbourne is a smart city, a creative city and a place that has so much life. Let's go. Hey guys, a quick economic and demographic snapshot of Melbourne. So Melbourne has a population of 4.9 million people. By 2030, it is expected that Melbourne will overtake Sydney as Australia's largest city. Melbourne may have only 3% of Australia's landmass, but it contributes a whopping quarter to Australia's GDP. In fact, five out of the 10 top Australian companies are headquartered here in Melbourne. Melbourne has so many authentic local experiences and I'm here to say that there really is a twist at every turn and you can easily lose yourself here in Melbourne. Yeah, I could. Okay. Hey guys, I am down here at Federation Square in Melbourne with the lovely Vivi. Thank yeah. you so much Hi for guys. Vivi. I've just stopped Vivi um, along her walk here. Yeah, Vivi, I'm doing a smart city video um, about Melbourne. What is your favourite thing about Melbourne? Uh, I think my favorite thing about Melbourne is definitely the culture here. Right. So yesterday I participated in the uh, comedy festival. Oh, really? So, nice. Yeah, this is really different from where I came from. Okay. So I came from China. Yeah. So the culture there is quite like uh, not very diverse. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Our Chinese tradition, but in Melbourne you can like emerge in all kinds of like right. culture from like different worlds. Oh, yeah. Yeah. awesome. Okay, that's fantastic. So, um, Vivi. How do you get around Melbourne? So uh, I live in the west suburb in Melbourne, Point Cook. Okay. So it's pretty far away from the city, so normally I have to drive. And what does a smart city mean to you? Like I know a smart city is a term that we use a lot to talk yeah. about how a city is using technology yeah. to help um, its citizens like you get around yeah. um, and find out about events like the comedy yeah. festival. So yeah. what is Melbourne being a smart city mean to you? I think uh, the public transport is quite uh, developed in Melbourne. Okay. So you can access to bus, trams, train. Yeah, so generally it's, I think Melbourne is quite it's quite okay in yeah. terms of smart city. Okay. But compared to where I used to live in, yeah, like right. in Beijing, uh -huh. it's still a big bad gap there. Right, of course. Yeah. The government still have to spend some money yep. on public transportation. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Excellent. That is amazing. Thank you so yeah. much, Vivi, for your time today. Bye -bye. I really appreciate yeah. it. See you guys. See ya. Bye. I've just met the lovely Hamish. Hey Hamish, thank you so much for this quick question. Yep. Um, you live in Melbourne, what's your favourite thing about living in Melbourne? Oh look, I think mainly friends and family like most places. Yep, okay, excellent. <laughs> and in terms of mobility, how do you get around Melbourne? Uh, I usually use trams, public transport, trams and trains. Okay. And bikes. Okay, excellent. Okay, active transport is really popular in Melbourne yep. and so accessible. It is, it's great. Cool, well thank you awesome. so much thank Hamish, you. see ya. See ya. I am down here at Pickett's Cafe with Salima. Hey Salima! Hello! Hey, so hey just guys. a very quick question. Um, you work and live in Melbourne and you're from originally Canada. Yes. Yeah. What is your favourite thing about living in Melbourne? Oh, just the culture. Um, so much to do, all the nightlife, um, galleries, the NGV. Absolutely. And so you walk to work. 
I do, yeah. So you think Melbourne is an incredibly walkable city? It is. If you live inner city, then you definitely don't need a vehicle. Um, right. Yeah, public transport here is pretty great. Awesome. Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much. See you. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Hi, I'm in the art centre in Melbourne I'm, and I've just bumped into Marty. That's right. I was just talking about the the closeness and proximity of these art precincts. Marty, in your opinion, why do you think Melbourne is such a, a livable and cultural city? I think everything is close by. I mean, within 10 minutes, you can be in the most beautiful botanical gardens that I can go anywhere. Yeah. Uh, you can be in a laneway having the best coffee. I mean, Melbourne was the only place that got rid of Starbucks because we have good coffee already. Yeah, absolutely. Very nice down. Um, you, you can be uh, on, on the river going across to Williamstown, which is a, a very interesting spot. And then you've also got the art gallery, uh, which has every year has a, uh, an exhibition that's being class. This is Gabby here. And more than anything, I think, is that people are so friendly. Having come from another city, I still think Melbourne is the friendliest place to come to be That's amazing. I totally agree with that. And on that note, thank you so much, Melbourne. You've been amazing.